We're on a roll, baby. America first. America first. America first. If I would have known this was a clan meeting, I wouldn't have taken this mother. No one was considering me for this role. I got the new Spike Lee joint as a script. I'm reading it, and I thought, I think I have a take on this character. Uh, there was a lot of head scratching when I kind of told my people this, but uh, they said, you have, you have to go read for Spike. I was happy to go do it because, you know, when you're doing something that's not like anything you've done before, it's on you to show the director that you can. So. Um, I went in there and I was so nervous, uh, especially because I, I kind of said I, I'm uncomfortable saying a lot of this dialogue. And that's why Spike's so great. He made me feel comfortable immediately. I read his autobiography, which is called My Awakening, which is like his version of Mein Kampf. It's horrible. Uh, just reading that is, is an overwhelmingly negative uh, thing to do. Uh, I watched a lot of filmed interviews with him in the 70s. He was actually on a lot of episodes of Donahue in the early 80s. And I just realized his, um, what makes him so evil is that he's uh, very intelligent and very well spoken. And he kind of knows how to read a room. And that makes him more evil than uh, kind of the common idea of a racist. Look, I didn't want to play David Duke in like a TV movie of the week about David Duke. <laughs> I wanted to play David Duke in a Spike Lee movie that's making the point that it makes about David. 